Hello, everybody. I'm Zachary Chalkum, and this is my uh, first round for General Sakura's uh, tournament. And this is versus uh, Smexy Ninja. Uh, S M E X E Ninja. There we go. Go check him out. He's a good battler, as you can see throughout this whole thing. I left in the team selection because you're going to obviously see all of my guys anyway. Well, I mean, if you hadn't seen it through the whole thing, then you would. But this was a very close match. So, yeah. Um, there's no music. Um, I'm going to put background music to this, but there's no... Uh, from the actual game because um it was just gonna get chopped up because I'm gonna do cuts throughout it so you don't see my move sets. I lead with a uh, Gojulus the Sceptile and he leads with a uh, Ampapom and I knew the fake out was coming like it is here because it's a typical Ampapom thing. So I switched to Metagross because Metagross is could take a fake out fairly well of the steel typing, and I was hoping it wasn't a last resort, because, and it froze, great. Um, it's going to Shadow Claw, which is going to hurt, um, but still okay. And I'm going to Meteor Mash, because that's what Metagross do, they Meteor Mash. Um, just brings him down just a little bit, and I get an attack raise, which... We'll see in a second. Won't help out a bit because it's going to reveal my secret in a second, which I was hoping to keep for most of the match, but I didn't because I had it. I wanted to go with a reliable move, but he kills himself off with his life orb, and I go for a psychic because this is a cool Metagross, not like a. Everybody else's Metagross, which is stupid. This one's just cool. And someone's knocking on my door. But I just blew it there with the Psychic. And I don't know why I left in this box. Okay. He sends out his Typhlosion. And Metagross is not going to like that. So I switch out to my Clefable Z.0079. Because it's an Android, but he gets blasted in the face with flare and it get critical hits to did and that critical hit really mattered to me because I'm a very defensive player and this is my special wall basically my only special wall on this particular team I have different ones on other particular teams of this variation but that crit Clefable could at least take three of those or two of those and be knocked out on the third. So I get a critical hit on the hidden power, which could be water, it could be ground, it could be fighting, it could be fighting, it could be rock, it could be water, ground, or water, ground, or rock. And uh, switching to Burloom, Burloom here is a great thing because it resists all of those. So I'm just going to do it anyway because I knew something was going to get spored and I'd rather... Gojulus, the thing that gets spored, because I know I'm going to be faster than Breloom, unless it packs Mach Punch. And I don't know why my character went, go, and then he's set up for uh, Focus Punch, but I'm going to withdraw uh, there and switch to Toxicroak, which would take the Focus Punch, because I knew it was coming. But now that I think in retrospect, I should have switched to Weezing, because it still would have resisted both of their moves the seed bomb and the other thing and I would still have a super effective move on it but Toxic Croak took it okay and Ice Punch because I knew I was going to be faster because Toxic Croaks just win and punch it um, switch out to Weezing I don't know if I showed that um, I must have skipped a part um, Switched to Weezing, he did Air Slash. Um, I tried to go for, I think, a Pain Split, because it would have hurt him, even if I didn't live it. 
And then I switch back out to Metagross, and he Aura Spheres, because his Sphere of Aura, which is somewhat fighting moves, which I don't get, smashes into my giant beast of metal goodness. And yes, that's a Master Ball. Switch out Toxicroak again, because after that, I think I'm probably faster, and I know it's not Scarfed, which was one of the reasons... I was fearing a close... not a close combat, uh, an extreme speed, which popped into my head when I first saw it, which people should run Hustle Extreme Speed Togekiss more often. Um, he has two Pokemon left. Yeah, um, this Jolteon and his Umbreon. I always keep a list of everybody's Pokemon, and I can cross them off when I, so I know what's coming. Um, but this Jolteon scared me, because I was thinking if it was Spexed, it's probably going to rip through my team. But it's a charge beam one, which is okay. And obviously, I don't know. Maybe it's a defensive one, Smexy or Ninja. You can probably clear that up because you're not in the attorney anymore. But even after a charge boost, that did it didn't knock it out with a uh, yeah. Um, switching to Magnezone, that or switching in Magnezone, best play I could have done. The entire match. Well, it was either that or Toxic Curve. But, um, go for an HP. It did neutral damage. Um, and this time I go for a Flash Cannon because. Yeah, my vid's lagging. Wow. Um, he did another Shadow Ball and Flash Cannon, which is resisted. But I get a special defense drop, which is basically what I was going for. Technically, right here, I should probably have gone for Hidden Power again, because it would technically be stronger. Even though Stab, which would make it uh, 120, but then Resisted, which would make it 60 base power, which is not as good as 70 base power as the Hidden Power. Um, but it still does the job. And all he has left is his shiny Umbreon, which is... Anyway, what I was saying before about the best play, um, most... Jolteons run Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, and either HP Grass or HP Elect HP Grass or HP Ice, which Magnezone resists all of those. So it was actually a fairly good play. He does pay back with his Umbreon after he does sub, which is a key part because then it lets me at least get in three turns, because I knew he couldn't beat me with, or beat me down with a payback uh, originally. Um, and now he does a payback to break my sub, and I knew I was going to be faster because this thing can outrun a lot of stuff, because it's built to outrun, uh, Jolly Scizors, I think, if I remember right. So, yeah, um, that's Jolly to no speedy be Scizors, I think, or something like that. Um, Payback's going to almost knock me out, but not entirely, and this is my third turn, like I calculated earlier. Um, I kept debating, like in between here, I know I cut it out, but in between here, I was debating whether I should do Flash Cannon or whatnot, because of the special defense drop, but that wouldn't really help out Toxicroak, because, um, it's not a special attacker. Um, so he finishes me off with payback, or finishes off Magnezone with payback, but I knew I had this in the bag, I th thought, like, there was a small percentage chance that I don't, um, there you get to see a blurb of my Toxicroak's moves, I guess. I went with Earthquake instead of Cross Chop because I really did not want to miss. Um, so, go with Earthquake. They have the same base power, but obviously Cross Chop would get stabbed, but I think Earthquake would have still done it, but after that Leftovers, I was still very iffy. I didn't think that one payback could beat me, but anyway, good game, Smexy Ninja. Um, I'm sorry you're out of the tournament so quick, but I'm moving on to round two, and I hope to see more of you guys. Later.